Is the original content being created by streaming services affecting the film industry? That's an excellent question. Um, I'm going to say yes and no. Um, first of all, streaming services, um, Netflix um, being the main one, have been um, creating original content now for the better part of five years, I think. I think maybe even longer. I think it's been maybe even longer. Um, I mean, wasn't like House of Cards um, kind of the first um, from Netflix? And um, so, I mean, this has been around for a bit. So is it affecting the film industry? Kind of. I'm going to say kind of. Here's my thought. These streaming services are taking up the film slots of those films and those film creators that where you'd get kind of your average ho-hum middle of the road type movie or bad. That's what streaming services are taking up. So look at movies, you know, that come out on streaming services. Um, you know, you get your The Kissing Booth on Netflix or you get, you know, um, the Extraction, which I just watched, which I'm going to get to, by the way, um, uh, a movie review on Extraction in just a little bit. But um, Extraction with um, uh, that, uh, Thor, what the hell's his name? Chris Hemsworth. Um, that's probably in the upper tier, whereas The Kissing Booth may be in the lower tier. Um, you get, you know, movies like Lady and the Tramp, the remake, you know, on Disney Plus, which, dang it, I still haven't seen that movie yet. But, um, so you're getting kind of those middle of the road, middle tier movies that normally would have either come out in theaters or they would have gone straight to video. Well, instead of going straight to video now, because physical media is pretty much dying, they're going to streaming services. So it is affecting it, but I don't think it's adversely affecting it. I mean, other than The Irishman, um, the Scorsese movie, there haven't been many movies that have come out on um, streaming that are, you know, so much like it, it, they there haven't they haven't been like top tier movies really. You know, yes, The Irishman has, but like other than that, I feel like most of the movies are more you know the secondary tier, and so those aren't going to affect the theaters as much. And I I think that you know in the end like. It, I, I feel, anyway, it's not affecting motion picture, like, movie or theater releases. Um, what's... I'm trying to collect my thought here for a minute. Um, what, <laughs> what has been affected, I think, more is TV. You're getting a lot more streaming services who are coming out with TV shows, and so your major networks are having a harder time competing with some of the amazing TV show content that is coming out on streaming services. Netflix has been knocking it out of the park. They have great, great shows. They have Ozark. They have um, The Witcher. They have, um, you know, if you're into the Dark Crystal, they have the whole Dark Crystal series. If I mean, it, Netflix, Netflix has just been coming with it one after another after another. And I think network TV is probably more affected by... Um, streaming services than um, your movies and movie theaters. So, anyway, that's a pretty long-winded uh, response to uh, what you were asking, Eric. But a great question, nonetheless. And thank you for that question.